and gentlemen, Royal Ambassador, Mr. Anthony Powell. All right, let's try this again. Hello, Vima. All right, listen, stand up real quick. Stand up. You guys have got to get your game on here, get your uh, energy up. Turn to your left and grab your neighbor's shoulders and rub them real quick. Keep your hands up high and don't go low. Okay? Keep your hands up. All right, turn over to the, the other side. Rub them real quick. Because we got some information here that's going to knock your socks off. All right, thank you very much. You can sit down now. Thank you. Okay, you guys ready? First, I'd like to thank BK for giving me the opportunity to come to Vima. Um, it was a huge thing for me to leave a 22-year career at a top three company. So thank you, BK. Thank you, Vima. I've, I also want to share with you guys, I looked at 25 to 50 other companies. All these CEOs are flying me in. We'll give you this. We'll give you that. We'll write this check. And I said, you have to understand something. I'm not for sale. My little guys have got to make the money. I've already made the money. My guys that are trying to get to the top have got to get the money. It's their turn. And when I looked at all the companies, I didn't take a check from BK. I took an opportunity to give my people a chance to go to a level that's never been gone before. So you guys, Europe, if you're watching from around the world, I'm going to share some things today that I think that when I was 19 years old, and a YPR that I wrote down, and it took me to a level that I only dreamt of. And so, first, you know, I just want to say, you know, again, thanks to my mentors. I had people that, you know, were very dear to me. One of them was Jim Rohn. You guys know Jim Rohn? Rest in peace. Jim Rohn said, you got to change your center of influence. So guess what I had to do? get rid of all my friends because he said you become who you hang around and so he said let me become your friend so what I did every day was I put him on my headphones and I ran two miles every single day to listening to Jim Rohn and he said you will start attracting people that will want to go your way so a lot of you today you're here and I believe it was Alex that said, we love the fact that you're here. God bless you for being here. You guys came from several different countries. You made the journey. You did all the things that you had to do to get in the room. But what you've got to understand is you've got to make a decision for you and only you to get to the next level. You've got to take, write it down, individual responsibility for where you are, right, where you are, and where you are going. Listen, I didn't come to Vima because I thought it was done. I came to Vima because I see Vima as a billion-dollar company. Okay, I didn't, that's what I see. We took Herbalife from 100 million to a billion, boom, like that, with this little tablet that you swallowed and it smelled like hay. And in 36 months, we hit a billion. Can you believe it? And at 26 years old, I was financially retired. Now, there's YPR in the room, yes? Okay. I was 19 when I started. I was on the phone inviting people to meetings. My other friends were laughing at me, telling me this will never work. 
It was interesting, my mentor called me one day and he said, go hand all your bills to your friends and see how long it's going to take before they say, no, I won't pay your bills. So while they were out partying, I was in on the phone inviting people to meetings. Now I'd meet them at 11 o'clock or midnight after the, the phone calls were done. But the point is, is you got to go above and beyond average people to make above and beyond incomes. See? And I'm real impressed with what's happening here in Europe. I, uh, I was on the phone telling my guys, listen, you guys better get to back talking to the USA and Canada. I said, listen, guys, you might be number one right now, but the UK, Europe, all of Europe is coming. You got to get to work. The EU is coming. You got to go, 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 go. Okay? Listen, back in 1993, I'm going to date myself now. In Barcelona, we had 20,000 people in the room, and we got together and we said we're going to a billion, period, over and out. And we did. So guess what you guys have? Better product, better marketing plan, better leadership. The billion's going to happen. It's not if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Now. Let me tell you where the money is. You want to know where the money is? Money, right? I think that translates across the board here. The money is not in volume. It's not in volume. The money is not in pin ranks, rank advancements. It's not in, it's not in rank advancements, right? The money, write it down, is in leadership. The money's in leadership, okay? So you got to develop leadership skills on how to ob obtain an organization. you got to learn how to build an organization and build a functioning organization. See, you're going to go through things that are going to seem so hard to you that sometimes you may have to get on your knees and pray to God. Because that is the challenge of the next level talking to you. See, when we're changing our skill set, it's hard. Write it down. Anything with value is hard. Because if it was not hard, everybody would do it, right? So you have to understand, when you're going for the next level, you're developing yourself as a leader. Welcome that. If you have people falling out, welcome that. Step up to the plate, learn how to build an organization that functions versus just sponsors. Make sense? Yes? Okay? So you can do it out of luck. You can build a big organization out of luck. You can build an organization out of signing up two or three people, right? We all know somebody who signed one person or two people up and they went, Phew. You know, that's cool. Take the money, right? Thank you, BK. Cut the check. Hurry up. But you're not going to get to the next level of excellence until you develop yourself into a leader. It's not going to happen. See, the guy I was that sponsored me in Herbalife, I loved him like a father. But if I quit, which I did, he didn't know how to build the business. You don't want to be in that situation. You don't want someone to think they're your check. You need to build the business on individual responsibility, day in, day out. Day in, day out, okay? Now, what's happening here in Vima, and what you gotta understand is, is to get to the billion, it starts with something called feeling. Feeling. You gotta feel so strong about these products that if someone says no to you, which you're going to get a lot of no's, right? You talk to somebody, they say no. You bring them to the meeting, they say no. You're going to have to go back to those people and tell the story again. That's what you got to do to develop serious wealth building skills in order for you to get to the next level. They're going to say no to you. It's part of the deal, right? When you go to a movie, they say, hey, you want popcorn? And you say no. Does that hurt the popcorn lady? No. <laughs> Doesn't hurt anybody. 
But you've got to be that person that understands a couple things, and that is law, write it down, law of averages. See, I'm not a legend. Thank you for the, for the wonderful pictures and the, all the signings and all the, I'm not a legend. I'm a validation that it works. That's all I am, is a validation that it works. So thank you for, for coming up and giving me kudos. But you are the next legend. You are the person that needs to step forward. You're the person that's got to get up in the morning. You're the person that's got to go to bed late. You're the person that's got to get the job done. It's up to you and only you. You're that person. Now, sometimes, you know, I see this just with people that I'm around, even in Scottsdale, right? I'll be, you know, when you got a Rolls Royce and you're rolling around town in Scottsdale, people go, hey, what do you do? And I say, oh, I do Vima. They go, oh, I've been taking the Vima, la, 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 la. And I go, oh, are you doing the business? They go, no. Some of our customers have more passion than our brand partners because how they feel about the products is what's driving them. See, if you want to, we want to get to a billion, we're not going to get to a billion just signing people up. We're going to get to a billion on people feeling strong about these products. That's how we're going to get to a billion. I believe this with all my heart. I think these are the best products money can buy. You know, I did my research. These are not placebo products that we're all buying to get our check. Where I came from, we had to stir up shakes and choke on tablets, and then nobody had auto ship. And we still did pretty good. We did six billion. Okay? Still did pretty good. But this is a company with ready to drink products, with the leader of BK ready to take it to the next level. He's got to feed six kids, right? <laughs> with the management staff second to none, with leaders here, right? that are ready to go to work. Listen, I'm not here to, to sit in an ivory tower. I'm here to go to work. I'm gonna work seven days a week, whatever it takes to get this thing to a billion. Worldwide is what I'm doing. That's what you gotta be thinking. You gotta think about the vision of where we're going. And if you understand that vision, then you're gonna grab a shovel and you're gonna to dig too. And you know what's gonna to happen to you? Especially the guys in the back, okay? Some of you guys are gonna go home and you're gonna be so excited you're going to tell your spouse, oh, my God, we're going to go to a billion. We're going to be part of this. And your spouse is going to go, Ugh. you got to be strong enough to stand up to your spouse and say, oh, no. We are going to change our lives. That's what you got to do. You got to see where we are now, 100 million on track for a couple hundred million now, and where we're going, right? Where we're going. The thing you got to see about where we're going, and you guys saw the video that BK did on me, and the video is this. When I said this to the, about the video, I didn't just say we're going to hit a billion by the blink of an eye like that. I didn't do that just because I was on a video. I did that because that's how I feel in my heart. You have to understand. When you're part of a company that, I don't know if this translates here, that's before critical mass, before momentum has hit, that's when is the best time to get involved in a company. Now, it'll still be good at a billion and two billion to get into Vima, okay? But here's what you got to understand. This right now is the time where if you're willing to go to work like you've never worked before in your entire life, you are going to get stinking, filthy, rich is what's going to happen. Okay? Now, I do have to caution you, for this to happen, you can't have everyone separate. You can't have people stealing other people's people. You can't have, you know, me in America sending someone to a meeting in Germany or you sending someone to my, and someone stealing each other's people, see? You can't do that. The leaders have got to come together and embrace people, and you've got to have the billion-dollar thinking to get to a billion. You've got to embrace everybody. See? That's how you do it. Now, 
I think one of the things you want to tell your friends, or maybe if you're, if you're here and you got here because someone just kind of drug you here, there's two things that are going to happen. You're either going to join us, well, you're already in, but I mean join us like go to work, join us. You're either going to join us or you're going to read about us. But we're going to a billion. Okay? That's what I can tell you. Now, hopefully you're not on the reading side. Hopefully you're on the join us side. Because there's one thing you can put down in the history books is it is going to happen. Okay? Now, write down where you are right now on your, sh on your notes. What level are you? Member, diamond, royal ambassador, where are you? I want you to write down seriously where you believe you're going to hit in the next six months. Write down where you're going to be in six months. Then I want you to stare down at the page and I want you to look at that. That's your reality. That's what your belief structure is. See, for me, there isn't a level in Vima that, that I can write down because it's not, it, they don't have it yet. I'm going to a level that's not been gotten before. That's how I'm thinking. So you write down a level maybe that hasn't been gotten in your family. For me, no one made 5000 a month in my family at Jobs. So when I was YPR, I wrote down I want to make 10000 a month. So 10000 a month was more than anybody in my family ever dreamt about. And when I made that 10000 a month at 20 years old, I started thinking 20000 a month. See, these are numbers that people outside this room aren't talking about. We got people outside the room that are looking for a new voice. They're looking for an opportunity. They're looking for people that are going somewhere. You're those people. You go talk to them and you show them where and what we're doing. And don't take no for an answer. You go back again and you tell the story again. See, that's how you're going to get two pins up. Now, Moving forward in this whole billion dollar march, I, call it, I went from the billion dollar switch to the billion dollar march, is what we call it now on my team. You've got to get really good at a few things, okay? Re just a couple things. You've got to get really good at inviting people to your home meeting. So let's write this down real quick, inviting. I got less than two minutes, I got to talk fast. Inviting. Some of you guys, you're doing your meetings, but you're not paying attention to how many people don't show up to the meeting that you invited. That is your mentor. That's telling you what your success rate is on the phone or on text. What that means is, is this. That tells you how you're communicating with people to show up. Some of you talk too much. So you talk people out of coming to the meeting. Some of you don't say the right thing. Pay attention to those numbers of your invitations to showing up to your home meetings or your hotel meetings or whatever type of meetings you're doing. That's an indicator how well you're doing or not doing. Number two, focus on how good a job you're doing on your intro. Who's introing the person doing the meeting? Develop that. Okay? Now, if you don't do, if, if the person doing the meeting is also the intro, no problem. But you got to have someone that intros the person doing the meeting. So work on developing the intro person. That person develop over and over, right? Posture, articulation, eye contact, powerful, drinking verve in front of people, okay? You don't need to talk over the top, but if they can feel coming off your body where we're going, it doesn't matter what your check is. What matters is that you know where you're going. And you get the person that's introing really solid. I'm telling you, people are going to get so jacked up when it's time to invite the person. Now, the meeting. Okay, the meeting. I've got the hook coming on me now. The meeting. Watch your timelines on your meetings. 25 minutes tops, 30 minutes tops. Some of you IPRs do 15 minutes. Great. If that's effective for you, great. But find out, is your meeting telling the right story? You know, what I told my YPRs, here's what I told them. Go follow Alex. Okay? Why do I want them to follow Alex? $100,000 a month is serious money. Go follow $100,000 a month. Okay? I'm OPR now. Went from YPR to OPR. Well, I'm not, I'm kind of in between YPR and OPR now, but... 
The point is, is that follow somebody who knows how to do meetings. So I have my guys, they went and they wrote every single word from all of Alex's meetings. I said, you bring me back that meeting. And then I said, listen, once you got his meeting locked solid, rock solid, and you come and present to me on Skype, you come and pitch me in front of me, you come and pitch me on Uvu, you come and pitch me on FaceTime, and I'll, I'll judge you and see if your pitch is straight or not. Work on your delivery skills of your meetings, because the more you do it, the better you get. Make sense? And then the close. Watch your clothes, right? The clothes is based on when people are sitting there, was the story painted properly to where you have an emotional connection with the people in the meeting? Because if you have an emotional connection and they know you're not trying to get in their pockets, but you're trying to get in their heart, they're going to sign up and say, here's my money. That makes sense? Yes? Okay, just making sure. Last thing is, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll out of here, is this. Once your team starts developing each other and you start getting bronze and above or wherever you are, everyone has a little bit different pin ranks, start bringing your people together, okay? Start bringing your, your pin ranks together and develop your team on a leadership basis. So I always group bronze to diamond on one call or one meeting and then I always do um, executive all the way up to about you know ambassador and then I do my star ambassadors and then I'll soon be having lots of royals you want to work with people like crazy one of the reasons why all these people followed me from Herbalife over here is because I didn't care how much money they made me I was, had their back 1,000% through storms, through good times, through all times we were together as a team. And they knew that. They knew I was not after their check. And you've got to understand that. Invest, as Jim Rohn says, invest life into life. And if you do that, listen, there's no question about it. We're going to a billion. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.